All right, so I'm going to look at the adaptive components just real quick, just in case you guys wanted to use them. If you're using a conceptual mass, you'll have to apply them in the family. So you'll have to pick the conceptual mass and edit the family. Um, and then go into, you know, like a 3D view here and then, you know, set it up to whichever one you want to work on. So if I go to the 70 and click OK, right, and then I'll just hide these so we don't have to look at them. Um, then you need to pick the surface. So I'll come in and I'll go to hidden line because it's easier for you to see me picking the surface. So you want to pick the surface that you want to divide. So if I come in and tap my tab key on the edge, I can go through until I can just pick one surface and then I can divide that surface and it'll divide it by default 12 by 12. I'm going to change the V grid up here to a six and then I'm going to turn the nodes on. So you have to have the surface selected, come in um, and go to surface representation here and turn the nodes on. That's what the adaptive components are going to stick to. And then you need to load your adaptive components. So I'm going to go to insert and load family. And I gave you, um, this bunch of components. Um, so you can open those um, and it'll load them. And if you expand your families, you'll see generic models. That's the category that they're in. And so you can do something very simple, like take a two point louver, right? And come in and just pull it across here, right? So my shift, right? There's that louver. And if you, it's very important that it picks on those points because then you can repeat it. So now I've just got sort of this louver thing happening and I can actually pick this and edit the type, right? And I can change this to, I don't know, set negative 45 right now. If I put it at zero, right? It flaps it down, right? I can change the length of it so I could make it two feet, right? Um, and make it shorter. Right, you can sort of see how all of that is working. Um, so that's a very simple version of it. You can also come in, you can put multiples on here at once, but I'll show you a couple, one more, and I'll take it into the project. So if I go to this three point louver, right, if I come in, I can actually take this three point louver and let's just go one, two, three, right? So now you can see that that guy is doing that and I can pick it and repeat it. Right. And it'll cascade through. Right. And you can see it has a different, like if I pick on this and go to edit type, I have a, <clears throat> the middle and the edge. So the middle is very wide and the edge is very short. So I could actually put this at two inches and apply. Right. And it gets very, sort of swaggy, um, or if I put this at, you know, four feet and apply now, the swag is just going to get a little less, right? Um, so you can do that. Once you've got something on here, um, what you'll want to do is bring it back into the project so you can look at it, right? So I'll just go ahead and go to shaded so you can see what's going on right here. Um, maybe I'll make this, a um, give it a, material here. Um, um, and then I can load this into my project. So if I load into project and override the existing version, right? It, I've loaded it in here once. I'm going to overwrite. I'm going to pick the middle one. So just say overwrite and its parameter values. And so if I pick that, right? It actually puts this guy in here, which is nice. The only thing is that I have this division in these nodes. If you want to hide those, it's in the mass category. So um, what you would do is whatever view you want to hide it in, go to VV, scroll down to your masses, check your mass, expand your mass, get rid of the grid lines and get rid of the nodes and click OK. And then make sure that in your uh, mass and site tab that um, you are showing mass by view settings, right? And now that guy is doing that. And then you can just go back and edit the family again. And if I wanted to put glazing in there, 
I'm going to pick this guy and I'm going to isolate this element. So I'm just working with it. I had this six point curve glazing, so I can come in and do one, two, three, four, five, six, right? And then pick that and repeat it. So now it's got glazing on it. And if I reset my temporary height isolate, right, you can now see that there's kind of a glazed thing behind it. And I can load into the project and overwrite the existing version. Right, and now you kind of have that glazing in there that you can just see, you know, in the background. Um, if I go back again to this guy, since this is a six point component, I can also come in and do the frame with glazing, right? And now I have a frame. And if I load that into project and overwrite the existing version, now I'm going to have a frame in there, right? And notice that it's taking longer to calculate that. Um, and then if I control tab back, I can if I pick this guy and go to edit type, maybe that frame width is too big. So I come in here and make it two inches, right? And click OK. So you're kind of opening the family and then loading into the project and overwrite the existing version and its parameter values. So now it's going to overwrite this six inch one with the two inch one, right? If it did it, it should have. Did. I don't know. Let's see. Um, but that's what you can do if you want to do it. All right.